before we start the episode. You can make the recording. I don't really care in it. But you know, mm-hmm. um, everyone's been screaming like put on SPF and stuff recently. Have you been hearing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People saying like put SPF and all that stuff. Yeah. Were you not told as a kid? Or was it just me that because we're brown, we don't need to wear SPF? Yeah, I was told that. Yeah. Because like, our son, because our skin could soak up, it, like it has the it has the melanin to soak up the soak up the melanin like, and stuff like that, isn't it? Yeah, sound sound dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I don't understand why. Do you know what it, it seems like to me? Yeah, is that every time they like every few years they change the rules or they bring out something new that you have to wear, otherwise your skin is gonna die. I feel like it feels like a cash grab. To no, me. but I pro- yeah, but I've been hearing about SPF for a minute, man. Like I heard that see if you don't wear it like when you grow up like you look mad old so say when you're 30 you look like you're 40 but hear me out yeah don't you feel like all this all this like uh worrying about like looking older when you get older yeah that seems like, like do you know what I mean if it, it, deep at this way yeah if everyone if no one wore SPF yeah then when you're 30 you wouldn't look 40 because everyone would look like you when you're 30 but I don't want to look 40 when I'm 30 but you won't look 40 because everyone will look like how you look like yeah, that would be the norm. Do you know what I mean? So what I, f- I feel like is like, it's, 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 they're telling you, oh, you need to look this way when you're this age, yeah? But like, I feel like the standards are set by people who can afford hella skincare. Like a, and also, they have so much money that they can afford the time to do like nine steps or 10 steps for their skincare routine. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Like, we, we, don't, yeah. we can't afford that time, bro. I, 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 do, I do cleanser, toner. Moisturizer and that's it. I leave the house. Do you know what I mean? Bro, well, even that, even that for me is a mad thing, bro. For me, it's just water, water, dry my face, and, and Nivea fam, and I'm out. Bro, I can't lie. Yeah. What the hell is that? Uh, huh? Man said water. So you just like after you shower and everything, you just put water on your face. No, when I shower, like obviously I use that like, soap or whatever. Yeah. Um, like for for the daily thing, yeah. So when you're leaving your house, yeah, you just splash a bit of water on your face and then that's it. And I'm out, bro. When I come back, same thing. Well, I just can't imagine, huh? Yeah, fam. For I me, don't know if that's good. I don't know, like, I don't know if that's good, like, because I heard, like, there's bare, because, like, um, London's bare polluted, like, um, you need to wash your face or something, like, with, like, actual scrub, like, scrub your face when you come back. But... I, I like, don't know about that. Uh, I, I don't, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know, innit? So... Yeah. So I just... I'm probably, I just, but then are we, like, used to it? Do you know what I mean? Like, we've lived in London our whole lives. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I do, like... Like face scrub, and then like what, every, every night or every day. Yeah, I do face like face wash every day, and then on like every two or three days I do um what's that thing called Exfo- uh, exfoliator. Yeah, but the, bro, I've the, been telling you that you're but I've been telling the man that you're a bad bitch, you know, fam. No, no, no. But the thing is, always on time. You're acting like that's mad, yeah. But like I feel like cleanse cleanse every day is just like a normal thing. Like you wake up and it's the, with with the. You know how you put water on your face? Yeah. It literally takes the same amount of time just to like, you know, like, and then wash it off with water. What's cleanser like? Is face why, why are we talking about skincare, fam? Like, this, this is the same, the same, the same. Our full take. It's listen, your full. It's your listen, take, I, as, I, as I'm saying, like, I want, I want SPF companies to. I'm not gonna waste money on like big tubs of. I got. Furthermore, yeah, I got this one because everyone was saying you need to get SPF in it. It's called Cetaphil, yeah. You may, think that. you may think I'm plugging it, but I'm not, bro. It makes my f- face feel so dry. I put it on, I look like a zombie, like it made my skin all pasty and white. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And I was like... That's why I'm a bossy fam. You need a spray tank, fam. Do you know what I mean? It's, me. it, it says that daily defense moisturizer. I didn't feel moisturized at all. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I'm, I'm fuming. If there's, a, if there's a good, like, SPF out there for brown people, sponsor me, please. That's, that's all I have to say. Yeah. I right, Nike sponsor me, man. I'll 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 design some mad crap for you, man. Hey, on a se- like, not a serious note, yeah. Semi serious note, yeah. I know what you're gonna say. Let's let's get our introductions out of the way because we haven't even introduced ourselves. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yes, people, you've been listening to the Titan Talk podcast. It's your boy Kyojin. And it's the kid A B, man. Anyway, Welcome moving back. past the introductions back into it, yeah. The question is right now, if you could have any company sponsor you, what would it be? And why? For me. For me, Nike, man. Nike, you want to be the face of Nike? Yeah? Nike. Not the on. face. I don't want to be the face of Nike. Like Why not? that's mad. Because then I, I have LeBron, to be. I have to be LeBron and MJ. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have to be. I have to. I have to go past LeBron, Ronaldo, uh, Drake, Travis Scott. Like they got bare man. Like I rather. I Virgil... find it so mad that like 
rappers and singers are, are the face of Nike. Do you know how mad that like they've blown? Like that's what it's actually Nike. Yeah. Because they're the Greek god. It's not for long. The month of Ramadan, you talk telling me about Greek gods? That's for me. Yeah, I'm just telling you the origin, man. I did I'm I did come up with the thing. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah, that's it's uh, interesting to know. Yeah, just saying. Um yeah, but yeah, yeah man. Like what were you? That these these lot have blown from like from music to like a and they're they're sponsoring a a, a sports brand. I feel like that's so mad, you know. That's so sick. Yeah. I also I mean, want to be the face of Benjar as well, man. Bro, I swear to God, every time I think of this podcast, I think like, what would be like a good? And I feel like, don't shoot me. The audience don't don't like don't come in the comments and cuss me, yeah. But I feel like when we semi, it's not even, we. I don't think we even have to blow for this, but I feel like when we semi blow. I feel like Benjar would be the perfect sponsor for this show. Yeah, like we'll yeah, just yeah. come up to the studio wearing Benjar. Uh, we'll do that anyway. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I mean, like I feel like it's the perfect one for us. Yeah. So wh- whoever works at Benjar, if you're listening to this, Mister Mister Benjamin, you know, as quick another fact, Benjar actually stands for Benjamin Art. So Mister Art, you know, if you're listening <laughs> to this, is that another owner of the Mister Mister Benjamin? Please. Now I think it's a sole trader thing, and I think there's only one guy. Okay. Yeah. So if you're listening to this. Um, I think is he from Northwest? Yes, yeah, from Northwest. Yeah, we're also from Northwest. We're a podcast situated in Northwest, um, and we wear your clothes anyway, so you might as well. Uh, furthermore, I'm wearing it right now. That's what I mean, bro. That's what I was thinking. When I think of sponsors, yeah, and I think of the first sponsor that I would want to have, like a big one, it would it would definitely be Benjo, innit? And then it would yeah, be I bet I was blown. Yeah, like, and if there's any, if property. there's any, um. What about companies out there that want to sponsor us? I feel like there's a market for you. I could put a water bottle in front of me. Do you know what I mean? We say this, yeah. We say this with like, I look 100 views, man. Yeah, 100 views per episode. Listen, listen, beg, uh, listen. Uh, this is this is another topic for uh, for maybe a more deep day. Because I feel like, we, I don't know about deep topics today, but in all seriousness, yeah, I feel like I've grown up like not, like always trying to like make sure I don't bother people in it. Or like not being too loud about the things I want, and then I feel like I've 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 got that mentality, and then I've watched people who are loud, and obnoxious like get what they want, because just because they seem loud and obnoxious to me, but really they're just asking for the, what they want in it. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like from now on, these days I don't want to be like awesome. quiet about what I want. Do you know what I mean? I'm just gonna say what I want, and if I don't get it, I don't get it. Do you know what I mean? So what but do you want? What do I want? I want a uh, hundred racks right now. No, I'm joking. One day. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. As I said, money don't money don't motivate me like that. Um today there's another casual conversation. Probably t- some of my favorite episodes, you know, the casual conversations, isn't it? Less like, pressure, uh, like as, well, say, anyway. as, as people say on Twitter, like men don't go to therapy, they they just start podcasts. So that's what we're doing, isn't it? Um yeah. But we will talk about that more in detail in a future episode. You know, I have I've been building up a lot of things to say about men's mental health and the way that people talk about it in in, in front of everyone, but then how they actually act on it. But we don't want to, I don't want to go into it right now. Um, so stay tuned for the the actual therapy session. Yeah, the I'm, build, therapy I'm, session. I'm building my case against all those fake mental health activists out there. Uh, oh, bro, you know what? We'll save it. We'll save it. We'll save it. I'm coming for uh, you, lot. Yeah. You know what I mean. Can't be talking about, oh, yeah, we need to talk about... No, 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 save it, save it, save it, save it. No, 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 leave it, leave it, leave it, save it. <laughs> All right, say no, save, save it, save it. Save it. This, this, this could be like the pre-trailer for when we actually speak about it, innit? The, right, the, 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 the anger's been, been been building up for a minute. <laughs> All right, so, speaking of anger, <laughs> while I do the week, we haven't done a while I do the week in, a- in ages. I feel like because, you know, personally, it's been wrong with Don, innit? We've been keeping it calm, nice and calm, yeah. somewhat. I think I got a little bit... Of, Flew off the handle last week. I can't remember. Hold on. Speaking of anger, yeah. Before we move on, yeah. Yeah. For all the 80, 80 plus percent people that said voted yes, yeah, for the cross-eyed poll, I pray. I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> actually pray. I'm gonna make serious the world that you all get diarrhea, fam. For two weeks, you fucking pricks. I'm not cross-eyed. One guy actually messaged me, yeah, because you posted up the fucking um the actual the clip in it. Yeah. On your finger, yeah? mm. bro. This this you, yeah. He sent me your thing, your snap, yeah. And he's like, bro, man said, man, listen, I actually caught, yeah. Well, lahi, bro, you actually cross eyed in this, man. Change your camera angle. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It was a, uh, 
It was Jay Lonnie, isn't it? Yeah. You were just doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, I couldn't believe it, bro. So, yeah, drop a comment. Do you think AB's cross eyed up? No, no, no. D- d- leave it. It's done. It's done. Just leave it. Uh, guys, bro, man, I'm actually yeah. calling me now, you know, bro, man. So I was talking to one, I was talking to one of my brethren, mm. and he's like, bro, you're talking to me or <laughs> and I was like, oh, not this again, man. Someone popped up to me. I posted on my story in it. Someone popped up to me, he's like, you're never seeing Janna. You're going straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. And then I don't know if I, I told you about this, but I didn't tell the I didn't tell the listeners about this yet. But sometimes I was like, I'll tell my mom uh, some of the stuff that we do about on the podcast in it, and then my mom was like, "You need to stop taking the mick out of AB. <laughs> you need to stop bullying him." Oh, yeah, so, man. So, so like, I, as of today, officially, yeah, I'm not gonna take the mick out of AB anymore. Do you know what the maddest it's, thing is? We got Mumsy. Mom was like, "Oh yeah, he's such a poor, sweet, innocent guy. And you guys are just taking the mick out of him." I'm like, "Mom, I you am. don't know him, <laughs> okay?" I am, man. She knows me well enough. <laughs> I am. There's one of them ones. You know, you know them. I'm not saying this is about you, yeah, but you know the ones where, like, your mom was talking to you about your cousin, yeah. Yes. Do you know what I mean? I was that cousin. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jacob. Man, everyone knew. Everyone knew the fuck is I was. Like, I was. On. Do you know what I mean? I have. I have one cousin. Yeah, this brother been expelled from school. He's 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 doing up holidays in Shagaloof. Do you know what I mean? And my mom would be like to me, oh my God, he's doing so well. Like he listens to his mom. He's such a good person. In my head, I'm just thinking, bro. If you know. If you you knew, fam. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, how's he doing in school? And she's like, yeah, his mom says he's doing so well. I'm like, bro, he don't go to school. He's been kicked <laughs> out, man. What do you mean? My man's going to study center and uh, proving that man there, fam. Yeah, man. I need to go to center. I don't know. But yeah, sorry. What were you saying? Your how you got robbed. Oh yeah, 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 I completely forgot about that. Um, yeah, so this guy, he's like, he's like, I don't go to school. I go where bad kids go. I'm like, okay, so you go to a pro, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah. How do you know that? I'm like, well, obviously I know what pro is. Um, and then he's like, mm-hmm. he's like, what phone have you got in it? Uh, and bear in mind, yeah, I don't feel scared at all at this point in it. So I get out my phone yeah. and I show him in it, and I'm showing my phone just like casually in it, and he's like, um, yeah. Can I can I hold it? I'm like, no, obviously not. Uh, and then he tries taking it, and I pushed him off the bike in it. And then like, he's just lying yeah. on the floor. I'm like, should I take the bike? But the thing is, I went to get it, and then I deep like, oh, if I take it home, mom's gonna be like, why would you steal a bike from someone? Else? So then, like, I just I rode a little bit, and I just saw him, and I just dropped it and I walked off. Oh, you should have took that shit, man. Because no. you know what man used to do, yeah? Man used to rob bikes, yeah? He used to paint it. And spray it. paint it. Yeah. So, no, no, man used to just roll it, bro. Like, roll with it. I know I know, p- people who used to make a living off that, you know? It's like, thing. Oh, good times, man. Good times. Man, take good but, times. But yeah, anyway, moving on to uh, Wild of the Week. Oh, yeah, Wild of the Week. It kind of changed from what we planned, though. Because I did some research, on it. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, maybe this week or depending when you listen to it, this week or the week before, uh, there was a new Netflix show called Why You Like This um, from Australia. It's an Australian show from Netflix. And uh, in the in the show, there's a, a girl who's breaking her fast. She says Bismillah and she takes a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I shouldn't even be laughing, bro. Laugh, man. It's funny, isn't it? That is that is mad. Yeah, a lot of but there's there's you know what I'm not gonna speak. The thing is, I had a whole speech ready for it, you know, like but, showing my anger. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the speech and then I'm gonna tell you why that speech doesn't count anymore. Okay, go on. Uh, so what Netflix? I'm looking at I'm looking at you Netflix. I'm looking for the camera. Now. I'm looking at you Netflix. Um, <laughs> that's a that's a that, that's a thing right. That's a meme right there, you know. <laughs> so Netflix, listen up here. The thing is, hmm, how do I put this? You know what? The way that Muslims are portrayed by Netflix shows, like one, what, what, there was one show here where this woman is, is like, she's praying, on, like in a bare empty room, like in a hall. She's praying here and she's doing the movements all wrong, first of all, yeah? She's doing the movements all wrong. And then she's having a dream while praying and a man comes to her. 
like okay. white man. Yeah, it walks to her during while she's praying. She's like, she looks up at him. She leaves her prayer and starts making out of him. Oh my what kind of nonsense is this, bro? This is what I want to say to Netflix. Yeah, hire a Muslim writer. I don't understand how hard it is. Hire hire children. Yeah, bro. This is my audition. Actually, Netflix is my audition. Hire me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's your audition. No, no, no. A- <laughs> you, 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 met, you joke. Man just a- said hire me. A B A B A B seen my what's it called. We did we did A level English together. He's seen my writing skills when it comes to creative writing, and it. He knows I I can put pen on paper and write some good stuff. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like it's the t- the time has come. Kyojin has been on the market for too long, taking me off the market. You know what? Mean? I think you should write a blog post, fam. I think you, know you should write a blog post here about how Muslims should be portrayed. And I think I and I think or and um thing. I know boss, and it will it could you know what I'm saying. You know what it is. Make Netflix come to you, fam. When it when it when it comes to writing like blogs and stuff, yeah, I've got too much trauma from from uni. You know, you know what I mean? What do you mean you have to write blog posts in uni? Like, no, like typing up all these essays and stuff. Writing, oh bro. I hate. Oh God, yes. My the thing is, yeah, I feel like I'm good at writing, yeah, but I hate writing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I hate writing as well. I hate man. writing. Like when I'm when I'm in the in the in the like the moment, I'm like, yeah, this is sick. But even even with like my uni assignments, yeah, yeah, you know, what I would do, bro. Yeah. Well, Allah, <laughs> so on the on the day of the what's it called the deadline. deadline, yeah, bro, I will be walking up and down my room, yeah, writing the essay in my head. I, I do I'll, that as well, you know. I I'll swear, go, I this do that. is some sick flow. Da, da, da. No, not not like when I not when I'm walking, when I'm doing like my day to day stuff, yeah. I'll yeah. think of the essay in my head. Yeah, the two the two play, the two ways I think of it is like when I'm walking up and down my room. So like this is literally like. 12 hours before I need to submit and I'm just walking up and down my room and like I'm the, okay I put this here I put this there and the other place I think like the best of the best ideas and the best shower uh, writing shower bro, it, yes. all, it all flows yes. I don't know why yes. it's yes. maybe because the water's flowing I'm one yeah. with the water yeah <laughs> you know I mean? be like water be like water <laughs> Bruce Lee like Bruce Lee yeah oh, come, shit. On, come, come on come on my guy obviously, obviously when the water goes to the mug it becomes the mug the mug what yeah. okay Speaking of speaking of Bruce Lee, did you watch the Mortal Kombat movie? No, yeah, I want to. I want it's to. Quite, I liked it still. A couple bro, of my bridges didn't like it, but I liked it. I loved the original one, you know. What the ninety five one? Bro, sick! It was amazing, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, because I, I was a kid, I didn't know about like what CGI was and all that stuff, and like what a good movie should look like, bro. That was sick when I was a kid. You know what I mean, a lot of people do say that the ninety five one was sick, so yeah, and even the music as well had like mm. a banging theme tune. Oh, that, this yeah. one they remixed the the theme tune still. Can't wait! I'm, I'll probably watch it like tonight. Oh, very, yeah. oh, it's very, it's, it's good still. I liked it. What did you watch? On? It's, it's not tonight, man. It's, it's the odd night, man. Make the most of the night, fam. Do it tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. Twenty first night. What am I doing here with you? Then? Is that that's why we keep it short, innit? Uh, what's it called? Yeah, so we're talking about Netflix, innit? So, what I just want to say to Netflix is because you know the thing is, people then pe- when when we see all the all these things, yeah, like for example. It's always that the characters on the on the on the show don't know how to pray. That's one of my the weirdest things I find, yeah. because there's seventy three sects in Islam, I think, right? Seventy three, yeah. There's seventy three sects, and none of us pray like that. So you couldn't find one Muslim writer to be like, yeah, there's seventy three sects in Islam, and by the way, none of them pray like that. You might need to change. Uh, all the billions, billions. Of yeah, Muslims. I mean, we're fastest growing religion in the world, and you can't find one person to say, yo, let me just let me just check how you, your characters play praying right now. Do you know what I mean? These times the, 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 the prayer mat's facing the wrong way and they're facing this way. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It, it don't make sense. Yeah, yeah so with the, the problem I have here is like a lot of people will say, um, you know, with like the whole like opening the fart of a shot. Right. Um, a lot of people will say, well, some Muslims are like that. Do you know what I mean? Like there are flawed Muslims out there. Uh, and I'm not disputing that, innit? The issue I have is when like... The, the, when you're representing like a, what a flawed Muslim looks like here, yeah, surely that story should come from a flawed Muslim. You know what I mean? Like if a white person or like a non-Muslim person is writing that story here yeah, and portraying it, then obviously we're going to scrutinize it like all the way up here. Do you know what I mean? Whereas like, for example, you know, Rami, that guy, he, he made his own TV show and it's really, it's actually really good in it. But then there's a, there's a lot of stuff in it that obviously like, isn't like a good representation of Islam, but it's his life, 
So yeah. you can be like, oh, well, that's that's him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you know I mean, so that with that with that, I'm like, cool, whatever. It's, it's him, and he's reflecting how he lives his own life. Um, so what's wrong with that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel yeah. like that's good represent, even though it's, it's a flawed character. It's not flawed writing because he's writing yeah. from his own experience. Even yeah, yeah, when, yeah. for example, like Mindy Kaling, um, you know that woman, the brown woman from the office, you know she's she's not Muslim, but like when she when she writes stories about like her characters having like a white savior complex. She yeah. has it, like every single show, yeah. yeah. Even though it's, it's it's problematic and weird, yeah. You can still let her slide because it's like she's writing about her own experience, and that's how she is. So it's okay, do you know what I mean? It's not yeah, that deep yeah. to me. But yeah, if like yeah. if if like a non-Muslim writer is writing flawed, flawed Muslim representation with with no point to the story, then it's like what the hell's going on? Do you know what I mean we don't need mm. that? Mm. I I prefer if you go back to the time where you portrayed us as terrorists. I prefer that. I mean, why? Because it's closer. It's closer to two representation. Like. If, if that's Islamophobia, I like that. Bring that back. <laughs> like, we need more of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Please, please I'm forgive joking, me. Yeah, no, 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 no. With all that said, yeah, I did a little bit of research. Yeah, and the person that that character who broke their shot or broke their fast with a shot, uh, the ca- person who that character is based off, is a Muslim person. In it. So I have, to, I kind of have to let it slide. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean, this is this is just my thing. I don't I don't want flawed representation of a flawed Muslim from a non-Muslim. If it's from a Muslim, it is what it is. Because the other the other thing is, yeah, you know, when people say like, oh, like you get, for example, sorry, for example, you get like um, young ads were saying like, oh, you know, if you want a role model from, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh I think I'll be, I'll be, I'll be gonna say the five the five wives thing. Oh yeah yeah yeah. He's yeah. he's saying like if you want a role model for Islam, yeah. Yeah, look, look to you like go, go to the mosque, like, oh, Mufti Meng, the chefs, all yeah. that stuff in it, and yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, but the thing is, why I feel like people relate to like people like young ads in it, uh, is because it's a more realistic portrayal of of how. Yeah. Because because the thing is, what people have, sorry, uh, I'll let I'll let you say this, but I just need to land in it. But because like, what, what people need to realize is yeah, because I feel like there's a lot of like um religious people will be like, oh yeah, they're not the representation of Islam, but for some people, it is yeah. Because what it is, is like, oh, I, I, for example, when I was a kid, I might have been like, oh, yeah, Mufti Menk is so perfect. I could never be like him. But then you see someone like Young Ads who's like doing all this, do you know what I mean? Like, he knows his haram, and we also know his haram. But then at the end of the day, he, he, on Eid, he's still wearing a thob. In Ramadan, he's still fasting. And you'd be like, you're thinking, oh, I can live this. I can do the things I'm doing in life now and still strive to be a better Muslim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Whereas, like, if you have this, it's like, it's like the same thing. Like your religious or spiritual health, I guess, is the same as like your physical, how your physical health looks. Do you know what I mean? Because if you, if you, if all you ever saw was bloody like Brad Pitt and Jason Momoa, like, do you know what I mean? Like their bodies, like crazy in it. Do you know what I mean? You'd think to yourself, like, what am I doing with my life? Do you know what I mean? I can yeah. never be like that. But if you see that the middle man, do you know what I mean? Like normal bodies, you're like, okay, cool. You know, I can get there and I can work my way up. Or, or it's okay to be like struggling or at this normal level. You know what I mean, yeah. do you feel like? Cause I feel like a lot of people, yeah. I agree with what you said, though. Yeah, I feel like a. a, a, a thank you. I feel like a lot of people. That was a rare occasion. <laughs> I feel like sometimes you know when you talk about representation to people, yeah, a lot of man them would be like, well, you know, I I don't care what color the superhero is. It doesn't bother me, yeah. But for me personally, yeah. Yeah. Bro, I can't lie. If there was no brown people on TV, like I would, I would, I would identify with anyone who's Latino. Or like, bro, the worst. Do you know the worst thing was mm-hmm. when there was two characters and one had blonde hair and one had black hair. I would, I would, I, I would like the one with black hair more just because it looked more like me. Yeah, like, yeah just yeah. naturally in it. I didn't like no characters with blonde hair, bro. I always thought they were always were. And and coming off that, yeah, about characters, yeah, yeah. bro. There's been bare um uh, uh characters who are actually like black and like a novel or like a comic, and they're played mm-hmm. by a white person. Yeah, they've been whitewashed a lot, and people, people, people don't see the issue with that. Fam, for example, on 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 Twitter or TikTok, I always see it. Someone says like, "Oh, you can't say this and you can't say that." that yeah, and you always get these like teenagers like commenting like, "Oh, you wouldn't have survived the two thousand and eight co- uh, COD lobby in it," because obviously back in back in COD lobbies, people used to say mad racist stuff in it. But you know what's so funny? I'm talking to you guys right now. Yeah, you know what's so funny about that? Yeah, is that you're saying we wouldn't survive. A cod lobby just because we don't want to say racist things, yeah, bro. You can't survive real life. Somebody is telling you you can't say a word, and you're crying about it. F- fuck cod. St- try surviving in real life. You can't survive the real life. You fucking nerd, bro. 
Do you know what I, mean? I, I don't, I don't want to swear too much in it. Do you know what I mean? But you are here saying, "Oh, you wouldn't survive a cod lobby." Try survive. Step outside, bro. Touch some grass. Do you know what Every, I mean? No, kind of everyone is, is saying that. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to survive in real life back then either, because everyone was just on crud back then. Yeah. Everyone was on crud. Yeah, like we all survived high school in 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 two thousand eight to like two thousand and fifteen or whatever it was. Do you know what I mean? We all survived that. We all went through it. But not them nerds that are in the cut lobby now. Yeah, you know I mean, you can't, you won't survive though. Yeah, you're telling me like the only time you could speak up to black people was like on a cod lobby behind the cam behind the video game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, you can't say nothing in real life. Clearly, yeah. you're the one who can't survive real life. Talking yeah. about we can't survive a cod lobby, man. I mean, all this I don't understand. Is... See, you see, when things, when something's racist, yeah, and it's yeah. clearly racist, I don't see the need why people argue against like, it. Like they're trying to argue, yeah, they're trying to argue for it. Like argue against it. Sorry. Well, you, you and me both in it. It's one of them ones where like, I could talk about it, but then it's like, I can't figure it out. Do you know what I mean like? Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like pe- people were saying like, oh, it's, it's, it's just a word. Then if it's just a word, then why do you need to use it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the other thing. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe people just—I don't know. People, some people just like having having something to be pissed off about. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Some people just can't be told no. I lie. Yeah. It's misogyny, fam. Misogyny. No means no. Yeah. Tell him. I can't do it like you though. You gotta look straight at the camera and go. Do you know what it is? I can't look straight. <laughs> 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 well, a lot of people are gonna say that. Is that what you thought I was gonna say? You were gonna say that, innit? No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I thought that's what you were gonna say. Someone would have said it anyway. So, oh, this self-fulfilling prophecy has got to him. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cussing himself before I can even think of the cuss. If I catch that pussy that came up with the the cuss again, fam, I know where you worked as well. So if I ever catch that pussy, fam. <sighs> oh wow! Oh wow! It's so right, I, I, I bullied him anyway, so it's okay. I guess I guess it's even. But yeah, um, are you done with that? Because I got another while of the week. Who is it? <sighs> DJ Khalid. You guys say DJ Khalid. No, honey, honey, honey. Oh, he's, he's, he has one of my favorite quotes of the year, though, you know. What? It says, <clears throat> a lot of people ask me, well, I don't lose weight. I never lose. I <laughs> you know what? I live by that. I need to stop doing that. I'm doing it too much now. You know? Yeah, you've been like, winning a lie. It's turning into an episode of the office, you know. <laughs> Every time you guys say something, man, I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> the camera, like, oh, what are they talking about? <laughs> but yeah, no, that's my favorite quote. You know, I'm gonna when when I go to like my auntie's house and she says, "Oh, you you put us away," I'm gonna like, I never lose. I only win. I only gain in this life. I lie. Um, but yeah, my man had. <laughs> A lot as one of the executive producers of his latest album, fam. I saw this guy. I was thinking, what's what's going on the other day? He, on TikTok, he he posted a video of him like just out in the jungle, on it. He's got a prayer mat. Bro, out here. you know that jungle is probably his fucking back garden, you know. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, bro, he's clear, fam. Yeah, yeah. So he's like just there, like he's got the Quran in the background, bro. Is playing it? Back, yeah, Quran playing in the background, yeah. And then he's like, um, he's and all I all it says is Khalid Khalid drops tonight. So basically, I gathered from that he's he's dropping an album tonight. I think it's Ramadan. This guy's playing the the Quran in the background. He's 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 on a prayer mat, yeah, but he's like sit. He, I don't know. He's 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 praying like they pray in Netflix shows. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he was praying. I mean, to be fair, you can sit down and make dua. I mean, it is what is in it. Whatever, but then there was people in the comments saying like, "Oh, you know, like he's a he he's a, he's a he's a not very practicing Muslim, like trying to make an effort in Ramadan." I'm like, bro, he's promoting an album. He's not making an effort to connect yeah. with God. Do you know what I mean, like, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I, the, the thing is, I feel like people who listen to this are gonna think, "Yo, Kyojin, what's going on?" I, I, you guys know that I'm I'm the most liberal of liberals alive. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm 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 one of those people like whatever people want to do, do it in it, but. When it comes to Islam, yeah, I feel like you can do whatever you like. Just don't try and justify other people's actions all the time. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I'm doing a madness, yeah, you know, if I ever become a celebrity, 
and I'm doing the madness and people are roasting me in the DMs, uh, in the comments for it saying like, oh, Kyojin, you, you fell off, you kafar, da, 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 all that stuff. <laughs> I feel like that's, that's a bit far, in it? I don't know why you call me a kafar, in it? I'm getting angry at people that don't exist yet, but uh, I don't know why you call me a kafar, but if there are people haram policing me in the comments, yeah, the people, my supporters who back me, yeah, don't jump in the comments and say, well, actually, what he's doing is okay because if it's not okay, you know, you don't need to say it's okay. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah, let yeah, yeah. the defend me yeah calm but don't uh, try and change the rig- religion of islam i can't mm. do you know what i mean otherwise that thing's going to be on me do you know what i mean because mm. then i've guided so many people astray you know what i mean oh yeah oh yeah man it's a state, it's a state of the world we live in man. yeah, yeah i mean i f- mm, it's one of the ones where like religion is like something personal between you and god in it no but bro i'll be prime i don't care what anyone thinks bro yeah whether it's Islam or Christianity or whatever, yeah. If something is against the religion, fam, don't mix the two. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know whatever. It's like, yeah. So say it's someone that's Hindu, yeah. Yeah. And they and they got like they're eating a beef burger or something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But they got like um the but they're wearing like the Hindu like the the, the tops or whatever, yeah. But then and, you know you know, you know, you know some, some Hindus eat meat though. But it's against their religion. No, not all of them, though. No, bro, it's one, bro. No, uh, but that's, uh, let, let's let's say it's, it's, it's they're from one of those religions where like the god doesn't allow them to eat meat. Like no, in Hinduism, bro, yeah. um, beef is not allowed at all, at all. Because um, the, cow, the cow is sacred. differences between like different people. Maybe, but from what I know, majority uh, people people can correct me in the in the comments on the DMs or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, um, the cow is a sacred animal in Hinduism, isn't it? Because yeah. Like, cause it, obviously they give milk, and um, it's like a, it's like a valued animal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So um, that's why they don't eat beef, isn't it? Yeah. So it's like someone, this Hindu is eating beef, yeah. But With like uh, the... they're in a temple or something. Yeah. Like, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but bro, it's there's no need to, to I don't know. It's like maybe trying to be edgy or something, or I don't know, fam. Yeah. Or they're trying to like uh, apply it, like trying to apply to a niche or some shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But there's there's literally no need, fam. You have eat a beef burger. Or you go to the temple, fam. There's no, there's no mixing. There's, in really, I feel like when it comes to religion, yeah, is it, but no to me, you, you can say it's like it's not, it's not because the people can interpret that as like, uh, or if you eat beef, you can't go to the temple. I feel like what what you mean is like you no, can't do it at the same time and promote. Yeah, it at you the can't same do time. it. You can't do it at the same time, and you can't. It's like it's sort of justifying it, or like I don't know what it is. I don't know. Like for, for, let's just go back to the point. Uh, yeah. Like for example, DJ Khaled. Yeah. Even non-Muslims will know that music is not allowed in Islam. Yeah? They don't know that, though. I'm pretty sure. Well, I, if you I, don't I, know, okay, now cool, you know. Okay, cool. Forget, okay, cool. Forget non-Muslims, yeah? yeah? I'm pretty sure DJ Khaled would know that it's, it's not allowed in it. Could, Amer- could you, Amer- could you, could you, could you make the argument? Bro. He's American. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. I feel like a lot of these arguments will stop with... Is American Muslim. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't yeah, do nothing. Else. I have nothing else to say to that. Yeah, we spoke about that last week. You know how like their their representation is slow, so Islamophobic, so they just reject everything. Or well, not everything, but a lot of things from Islam. Um but yeah, I feel like there's a oh sorry, did you want to say anything about DJ Khaled? No, I think uh the, the America thing just dead it off. So <laughs> yeah, sorry. it's facts though, isn't it? So yeah. I saw another thing like um so these these, I don't know, these people on Twitter, they'll get into argument in it. And it's always, it's, I don't know how much I can say in it. It's always American Muslims, for reasons that we already spoke about. Um, so as diaspora Twitter. Do you know what I mean? Like they, I think they, I know what you're going to say. I think I saw that as well. Like, they woke, but, like, sometimes the, 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 the energy is misdirected. Do you know what I mean? This girl and this guy got into an argument or something in it. And uh, she must have said something to, like, she's, he basically is a revert in it. And <coughs> pardon me, and he's white. So she's she said something about like the, a lot of the tweets were deleted in it, so it was hard to see. You know when you like trying to see what the beef yeah. was and go back yeah, through yeah, the court yeah, and stuff, but yeah. some of the deletes, uh, tweets were deleted in it. And then um, he must like she must have said something. I think something along the lines of judging by his reactions, he must have said something like, "Oh, you know, you, your family aren't even Muslim or something like that." Yeah. Um, and then he he quote tweeted her saying like, "Well, the Prophet Sallallahu family weren't Muslim either, and you know yeah. he's 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 the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam." Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then she she was like, "Never compare yourself 
to the uh, Prophet Sallallahu you white male something, I don't know. Uh, did it like bear like going crazy on him, like, oh, you know, you're you're white, I can never call you my brother in Islam, da, 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 all that stuff. I was like, God damn. And then somebody else like quote tweeted him saying, like, did you just compare yourself to the prophet? That's shirk, you know. And it's like, no, it's not prof. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god. <laughs> and the worst thing is, yeah, like again, please understand that I'm very li- liberal in it. But you cannot be saying what is shirk and not shirk yeah. When I'm going on your page and it's it's n- you know, it's it's it's, it's a mess. Well, that's yeah. what I'm going to say in it. You know what I mean? There's there, there was this one. I remember there's a. She doesn't know. I don't know if I want to say it in it, but there was one where this girl was like, "I re- write letters to Allah in it." <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "I don't feel like I need to pray, but I write letters to Allah." So I mean, actually, no. You know what? I, I'm sorry, I said that. In it. However, you want to practice. Yo, it. send me the PO box, so I got, I got some wishes I need granted, fam. You know what I'm saying? You joke. <laughs> I said I write letters, you know. You're a mess. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. What's the address? Tell me what the address is. How are you sending it? Is it first class? Tell me what stamps you got, man, my guy, man. I need, I need them stamps, bro. Corvera Mel is taking a piss. Man said, I write a letter, you know. What the hell, fam? What is happening, fam? <laughs> do you know Do we know this person? No, no, no. no. Oh, just online? Yeah. <laughs> you fucking mess, fam. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying. That's I'm the trying. worst. No, no, stop, stop. That's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life, you know. Man said, the... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm actually so I'm so close to wrapping this up right now. You know. Man said, <laughs> man said they write letters to Allah. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of them ones, yeah. <laughs> now listen, I know you were gonna say, oh, like if you worship however you want to worship, yeah. Mm. Bro. It, uh, Do you know what? You know what? Yeah. <clears throat> who who are we to judge on that? Yeah. I'm not judging, bro. I, I I find it funny, man. I'm I'm just reacting. I'm not judging. I don't care. I don't care. Like, I don't care. All, all I can say is, yeah, to to the person who writes letters to Allah, yeah, I feel like um, just putting your hands up and making dua is literally the same thing. Uh, it's 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 more environmentally friendly to maybe just. Put your hands up and make door. Save the paper, save the world. Um, he, he might reply to you quicker that way, man. I don't know if you. I don't know if you. Uh, I don't know if you write back to you still. But he might answer if you if you if you create. You, uh, you know, let's play. Let's play. Uh, not devil's advocate, Nick. No, 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 no. You're not doing this. I'm, I'm you're, you're not her, doing I'm this. Help her out here, you know. I'm gonna help you're, right here. You know, you give advice, but you're not. You're not. You're not. You're maybe, not. Maybe she just wants to, you know, have a track record of the things that she's asked for. <laughs> you know what I mean, like she's keeping a log, she files them away into a cabinet. You know what I mean? <laughs> Basically. Yes. Yeah, you know, it could be like Santa's listening. At the end of the year, you just check them off if they were granted or not. Um, you know, in all seriousness, yeah, I'm laughing, yeah, but at the, the same time. You know, however you feel connected to Islam is is important for you in it. Um, if 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 that's what keeps you connected to Islam, then Alhamdulillah, in it. that's what I can say. Uh, I'm I'm not I haven't laughed at all. It's all been AB. Because um, you you know deep AB. Yeah? There might be like loads of people who like don't feel connected to their religion in it. Um, we're laughing, but then they might find these sly ways to stay connected to their religion. You know what I mean? Well, no, but you said that she don't pray, so she, but she writes letters. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, but this. But, I'm sorry. Nah, listen, but nah, listen, bro. Listen, I'm not gonna apologize to that, fam, bro. There's right in. I said it before. In religion, there's right and there's wrong in it. There's no gray area, fam. Yeah. And I am a hundred percent sure that you can't you can't substitute writing letters 
for prayer, fam. I'm I am very sure that you can't that you can't do that. Man made a sub, bro. I I making I making a nine minute sub. It don't make like it. Don't, it don't, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. You can maybe may, maybe I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. Yeah? Maybe you could pray and write letters. You know what I'm saying? As like a little like an extracurricular activity. Yeah? But you need to. But come on, bro. But you can't you can't substitute. But then, for something that but you have then, to do for something that that not even like like is you're not it, not once in in any religion. Yeah, they don't want ever advise you to write letters to God in any religion across board, fam. You know what I'm saying? She might have just made a 74th sect, you know. What is this? <clears throat> I'm making these jokes here, Donna, for everyone that's listening. I'm making these jokes here. I'm not making jokes about religion, you know what I'm saying? Like, because that's not part of the religion. That's not part of any religion. You know I make jokes about. A, B, I make jokes about. Nah, this, in, in all seriousness, yeah, we're I make jokes about this specific you, person, bro. You, you know how you said like, oh, um, you can't substitute pray, praying for thing in it for writing letters. You can't substitute writing letters for praying in it. Yeah, you have, like you, 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 for something you have to do in it. But wouldn't it be better f- for her to write letters than not write letters and not pray at all? But. Like, bro, because there's, there's Muslims that don't pray. But, but what, what is she gaining from writing letters? Because I know she ain't getting no response. What's she gaining? Ooh, it might help her mental health. Like, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It might, it might, it might make. But that's not really That's not got to do with religion, though. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm laughing, bro, because it doesn't make sense. I'm not taking a piss on anyone's religion or how they practice, because that's not practice. That's not a form of practice. You know what I'm like, saying? For her, it could be. In, in any religion, bro. For her, it could religion, be. Like, man studied like, this thing. That's just how she's no, but man connected, studied, isn't it? But man studied this thing, bro. No one, who is there's no, no in, I've never heard of someone, yeah, someone doing a half-time substitute for praying, fam. Bro, where, where, fam? Please, I've heard of man singing during prayer. I've heard man doing dancing during prayer. I meant actually praying. You know what I'm saying? I have never heard of writing letters. If it helps, if it helps your mental health, cool. Write a billion letters, bro. But don't, don't. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to bring in religion in this. Nah, man. I feel bad for laughing. She might have, that's how she might feel connected in it. But the only thing the isn't the only reason. Can, why I, can I, I ask you something? What's she connected to? Huh? What is she connected to? Allah, maybe. You never know. Okay, does does did God tell it tell her to write letters? No, but Jamie. Does like, God answer does God answers does God answer to letters? Let's move past. It, I'm pretty sure it's that, easier that, to that, read. That was, it's that easier that to good. read. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna get to this, fam. Because what, this, bro? This is this is nuts, fam. It's easier to read the book of a, 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 a the book of God than to write letters, bro. It, you know, is you know what I'm saying? Or why don't you just why don't why don't why don't you do what like what majority of Muslims will do, and just raise your two hands, bro, and just you know what I'm saying? Just talk talk to God, fam. No, you know what I'm saying. Nah, I feel bad. I, I feel like we're dwelling on this topic for too long, but yeah. But let me let me let me let me finish off with this, yeah. I can't take the mic out of how. Oh, it, it, do you know what I mean? Because I, the whole point I was trying to make is like, like so. If, I'll I'll go I'll go into this in a second, but like the whole point I was trying to make is like I'm not anyone to judge her in it. She's doing her own thing, but in that same vein, the only reason why I brought it up is because she can't be giving out fatwas to people about like what's shirk and what's this and what's that, um, and who's allowed to be Muslim and da da da. When you're when you're Wait, right so hold on, Islam, hold on, know? hold on, so. <laughs> So she's sending letters to a fake PO box here, yeah, and she's she's declaring what she can She's 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 criticizing other Muslims. You know what? Yeah, I was actually gonna take out a few that that that, that I sent, but after saying that, I'm definitely not taking out nothing. Maybe in the audio there might be some taken out, but the visuals, I ain't, I ain't taking out nothing. But show me if you get a response. She's a mess, fam. I, I don't feel sorry for her at all now. You know, what a mess. Oh, yeah, so oh, look here. This this don't have to get an edit here. Yeah, but no. do you agree with this shit, fam? Obviously not. 
There you go, fam. No, do you like, think? I, I, do you, I, 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 no, but do you think? There's it? a lot of things I don't agree with, yeah. But then, if if it helps them stay cl- close to Islam, then it's whatever, innit? But bro, what? You know what I mean? For okay, okay uh, deep, deep it this way, yeah. Music is haram, right? Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of young people feel more connected to Islam when their favorite rappers rap about being Muslim. Yes, it is haram and it's not it's not from Islam, but I would rather those kids as a Muslim, obviously, I'm not trying to say like everyone needs to be Muslim, but all that stuff in it. But like those kids, I feel like it's cool that they feel connected to their religion through a medium that they respect and they can they can understand. Do you know what I mean? Because not everyone can understand, you know, you know what I mean? Like they can't understand everything. But for these people, it just might be a way for them to stay connected to their religion and stuff in it. Even though we know music is haram. Maybe, maybe. I mean, you know what? The thing is, yeah, I gotta make it clear. I'm not anyone to judge no one in it. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna expose my sins, but everyone knows who I am. I Again, know. yeah, I, I'd like to go. I'd like to second that. I'm not judging this person. Yeah, I just made these jokes because they just they just came to mind. In it, there's more, yeah. but I, I I will say you're off air in it. But I'm not judging this person. I'm just reacting in it, and I'm just saying that is wrong because it was it's, 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 you know what I'm saying. It's wrong in every religion. Furthermore, I, even she knows because she said she you she said that she takes she substituted praying for for writing in it, so she knows that she has to pray, but she's just choosing not to. So I know she knows that's wrong. So I'm just reiterating the fact. When I, I said be- like I'm I'm just gonna say what I mean. I meant like like aspirations and things that I want. I'm not like judging people in it. I'm not judging people. I said it. Like, I'm not I'm not judging this person. You know what I'm saying? Man could man could worship however they want. Just. You can't, you can't, you can't do that, bro. Is that me, yeah? I'm sorry. Is that, is that certain man? Like, furthermore, even if you're on Dean or whatever, bro, you can't be judging anyone anyway. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. man can't be, man can't be, made, can't, man can't be like, come on, bro. Yeah, that's the only issue I have in it. You can't be moving like that and then telling people they can't be Muslim and they'll never there be you, a brother because they're white. Do you know what I mean? What kind of nonsense is that? There you go, fam. And I'll be honest, bro. If someone said that to me, fam, I can't. Like, I'll be devastated. You, and that's me. Like I don't, I don't care what anyone says. But if someone like, because I, I, I will feel like religion is something that certain man will hold kind of dear. That like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's quite sensitive, isn't it? Yeah. And if you're coming into a religion, yeah. and most people when they come into a certain religion, they're always preached about like it's a unity thing, it's a yeah. family thing. And like, then you oh, get these man saying thing. like, oh yeah, you're not accepted, you're not one of us. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah. and and it's not the first time because white white reverts get a lot in social media as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when someone's and I feel like this this is why a lot of a lot of people will hate Asians here because I see it a lot of them, whether it's whether it's got to do with religion or like it's just got to do with um like their culture, yeah. Bro, you, none of you are no one is a gatekeeper for anything, bro. Especially religion and culture, fam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how the fuck, yeah, is man, is someone making something up, yeah? She just done, she done a whole look of remix and she's judging someone else. You know what I'm saying? And she's saying that a man will never see you as a brother in, in, in a song. You know what I'm Crazy, saying, fam? Man. Crazy. As, man. As a, as, bro, that white you, you never know, fam. Imagine a white reader, yeah? For, you know what, bro? This ain't everything that cracked up to me, you know? And I'm just getting yeah. violated. I'm, I don't feel accepted. I'm, I, I feel alone in this thing. Yeah. I just fucked off. Then what, no, 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 not even, not even just white reverse. And I've seen it from, seen it all over the place. I mean, I feel That's like I'm saying. a lot of South Asian and a lot of Arab Muslims think like, oh, the religion belongs to us and stuff. There's a lot of like uh, uh, black Muslims who who have reverted to Islam. Even people, black Muslims who are like born into Islam in it, and then when they walk into a mosque, everyone's was like, I tell them, oh yeah, when did you revert, bro? Like. Do you know what I mean? Or, or can you recite this for me? Or like, oh, you're Muslim now. That's really cool. Da-da-da. Like, like, like. Like they don't have like a, a Islamic background anyway in their countries. You know what I mean, like Nigeria, um, Senegal, loads of these people. Sierra Leone, bad, yeah. bad. And even in, in, and, and a lot of times, even when they do revert, people will be like to them, "Oh, you can't do this, da da da. You can't do that." So I think like the maddest thing is yeah, because uh, this this happened to me recently. Yeah. <laughs> so someone's trying to police me like in my comments, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it was about my hair, in it. They were like to me, "Oh." Uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to wear his hair up to his shoulders. Um, you need to cut your hair because it's gone past your shoulders, isn't it? And I was, I was, what I was saying to them, yeah, is like, well, I made a video about it after. So I was like to them, listen, if I was to upload a video of me using chopsticks, yeah, 
you would never comment, brother. The prophet, uh, the prophet, peace be upon him, used to use his hands, his haram to use chopsticks because you know in your head that chopsticks is just a thing of culture. You, you, it's not haram or halal. It's just a yeah. thing, isn't it? So what people yeah, need to understand yeah. is, just because my hair is not from the sunnah, does not mean it's haram just because the prophet Sallallahu did it. So same with like, you know, when like black Muslims have like dreads in their hair or, or anything like that, and people be like, brother, you can't do that. The prophet, the prophet never did this. Obviously, he never did it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean, like, it doesn't mean they can't do it. Like, why are you trying to make the religion so hard for them that they can't actually practice it? In it? That's what I'm saying, fam. Comfortable that, is, in that, it. Is, that is exactly what I'm saying, bro. Do you know what I mean, so if and you want to write letters, write letters, bro. No, don't. Bro. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> you know, if you get a response, you just write letters in it. But I'll bet anything. I'll bet my whole life. I'll bet my mind. I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll I don't, I don't think they, I don't think they send it to anyone. I think they just keep it in a box, bro. That's even worse, you joke, man. So you're 100 percent not getting a response. You messed. It's like wasting ink for no reason, you dickhead. Like, fam, I, bro, I can't lie, fam. All these, like, all these ple- people policing and gatekeeping, fam. Bro, bro, yeah. And I feel like with Revert here, I feel like there's more pressure on them to be a certain way, fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? But mm. they, they're just, they're just regular people, fam. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Instead of, instead of, because I know there's men that watch this year who've done this shit before, yeah. Instead of like, instead of saying, yo, bro, you can't do this or whatever, you can't do this, you can't do that, yeah? Give them advice, fam. Don't say, instead of saying, yo, yo, don't do this, just say, yo, fam, it's better if you do this, give a little explanation why, say which, which is better, and leave it up to them, fam. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, fam, it's, 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 a, it's a unity thing, like, it's a brotherhood thing. It's not a, oh, yeah, like, a lecturing thing, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, yeah, like, you, do, you, do you know what I'm trying to say, fam? If man wants to wear, man wants to have long hair, fam. Let man have long hair, fam. So who cares? You know what I'm saying? And if man really cared, what it was on TikTok where man done that comment? Did mm. did I have a, a messages on, on TikTok? You can't message me on TikTok. Oh, uh, cool. Only if you follow me. Only if I follow you. Mm. For me personally, innit? <clears throat> when I see comments like that, it doesn't bother me. You know the only reason why that one annoyed me, innit? Yeah. Because fair enough, if I'm doing something wrong, tell me, innit? But to take your culture or your perception of how things should be and then try to tell me if it's haram or halal, it, it annoys me. Because that's another example of people trying to change the religion and then tell you what that is, isn't it? Because, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not haram or halal. It's just, it's just a lifestyle choice to have. Yeah, I mean, yeah, even, yeah. even though my dad don't like my long hair, yeah, he still understands that, yo, my son is younger than me. He comes from a different generation and they have a different style. It's not the same as what, what it was back in our day. Yeah. And he's just like, cool, I'll leave him to it, innit? Yeah. If, if he can understand that, I don't understand why random people who don't know me are telling me to go, you, you know what I mean? That, that's the worst thing. You're a stranger to me, bro. Yeah. You're giving me hairstyle advice and making it seem like it's dawa. It's not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fucking dickheads. But yeah, I, it doesn't offend me, innit? It's just like, I just had to let them know that like, yo, first of all, it's not haram. Try not to like, think that everything's haram just because you believe it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 This is why, bro, this is why yeah, Muslims yeah, hold a lot of stick, fam, because these dickers like this would like to chat shit, fam. You know what I'm saying? If people just kept it calm, you know what I'm saying? And just kept it civil and actually went by the guidelines of how you're supposed to approach people and how you're supposed to give advice. Yeah. No one will be out here moving mad writing fucking F-64s to God and that, fam. You know what I'm saying? If the person is, like, a close to the religion in a certain way, then it kind of is what it is, isn't it? Like, it's like, oh, I can't really... You know what I mean? There's no point in judging them for it or making them feel bad for it. You know what I mean? No, that's how I, that's think, how I no, see I it. Want, no, no, they should feel bad because they're policing a next man's thing. That's the, that's the only reason why I brought up in it. But in general, I want to make it clear to if there's any young listeners out there in it that maybe think... they might Because you never know, there might be young kids out here that feel bad for, like, the way that they, they pray, the way that they... You know I mean? And they're clinging on and stuff like that, and I don't want to make them feel bad in it. As long as I know that my people, my peoples are calm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I can't lie, if one of the man, if I find out one of the man is writing letters, yeah, regardless of the religion, bro, they are holding corn, fam. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would specifically call them up here, yeah, and I will, I will, I will call them. I will, I would corn them, fam. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just, that's what I'm doing. Any like, you know what I'm saying? There's there's no. There's no special treatment just because I know you. I don't know you, fam. It's, you know what I'm saying? You're going you're gonna to hold it regardless. You get me? 
If you want to write me a letter, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't responding to that shit, man. <laughs> write a letter. Oh, come on, bro. Write a letter, you know. Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't know what to say, man. Man says substituted, substituted prayer for writing letters. It's one of them ones, and it's just, I just find it weird that, like, you can be like, um, Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like just personally, I don't feel like if you're moving like that, you're not in a position to tell people that they can't. Bro, they can't whether Muslim, whether you're you know praying, I mean? whether you're praying five times a day, you're praying all the extra prayers, whether you're going mosque, where you know the mm. Quran of Baha, or if you're writing F64s, it, you can't you can't tell a man that I don't view you as a brother in Islam. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't, you know, you can't bro. You know I mean? whether, you, it doesn't matter, bro. There's, I'll say it again, bro. Yeah, there's right and there's wrong. There's no gray fam, and. Yeah. Writing letters is wrong. There's, there's no, there's no great part in that. You know what I'm saying? That it's just facts, bro. And furthermore, yeah, you said yeah, they, they, they writing letters or whatever to stay connected to the religion, yeah. Mm. But what, what, like, what are they doing to stay connected? What are they, are they, are they writing out verses from the Quran or are they writing out things that they know or, or you know, what I'm saying facts about the religion? What are they writing? Like, bro? They're just like writing a, what they're thinking. It. Things like a diary in it, like oh, yeah, there you go. Then they, bro, they connected to a diary, fam. What is that? They just because you write day or law on the top of a thing and they write your fight, write fools, doesn't mean you stay connected to a religion, fam. Maybe I don't know in it, but that doesn't make sense to me. I feel like personally in it, like we, however people feel like connected to God, and we can't we can't shun them away. And that's what the whole point is like. Just because people are white, yeah. We spoke about this last week a little bit as well, yeah. Just because people are white, yeah, stop pushing them away from Islam. Or just because people are not from the same culture as you, yeah, stop thinking you have an ownership over like black Muslims or white Muslims or yeah, I don't know H- Hispanic Muslims. You don't. Do you know what I mean? Just because you think a Muslim should look this way and behave this way, do you know what I mean? Relax. Yeah, man. And uh, Netflix, hire me. That's all I got to say in it. <laughs> That conversation was a bit of a madness. <laughs> yeah, see, but if you end up hiring some some next people, they might start writing like Muslim characters that write like letters instead of you know instead of praying on a prayer mat and that. <laughs> man, we'll hear that Adana start pulling that pen and paper and that. That's a real life representation, man. Come on, joke, man. J- just to I guess finish off here, yeah? because I feel like this might come out this week. This episode. Um, we might just touch on uh, the not the Super League, but like United today, the United fans they stormed the capital. I mean, they didn't storm the capital. They they broke into Old Trafford and stormed the pitch and stopped United and Chelsea playing um, their match. Was anyone? Uh, no, it was Liverpool, sir. Right? United Liverpool, sorry, yeah, United Liverpool playing their match and uh, because they want their owners out. Um, what have you got to say about that, AB? I rate for, I rate that that they, they that they're making a stand or whatever, yeah. yeah like more power to the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even the even what I'm gonna say is isn't really got to do with the fans that um that broke that done whatever, yeah. For me it does, bro. No, no but go on, go on. It's nice that people are protesting and like storming football clubs and stuff like that because they don't want rich people messing about with the things they love and stuff, yeah. And I know people are going to say, oh, yeah, you're going to bring race into it. You're going to bring Islamophobia into it. You're going to bring classism into it. Yes, I am. You know what? I, I am. You know, what? It's, 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 it's nonsense, bro. These people, so much vim and so much energy produced because a cl- football club that they love is, is, is owned by somebody that they don't like. F- for business reasons, for ethical reasons, the other, the other, the other, whatever in it. Now, when we have a prime minister who he was running the country, he was like the, the boss of our whole country, running our whole country, and he's been discriminatory, uh, discriminatory to so many people. He's 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 let so many people die, not to mention he's I mean done such so many things, yeah, but nobody has the energy for that. Do you know what I mean, or even if it's nah, like your, even your, take it back to your, football, your 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 local MP, or say even if it's in like the the governing bodies of of of, of football, when they don't when they when they don't have a good enough response to racism, or the, 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 it's like oh yeah, what what can we do in it? But because your club is owned by the wrong person, you could you can storm into a million, probably a billion dollar football stadium, state of the art, and you can you can achieve all of that. But Raheem Sterling gets racially abused. 
There's, there's no Vim. Do you know what I mean? I, un- I understand, obviously. I saw there was someone who got a banana for another and he picked up an A. I think it's Danny Alves, right? Yeah, I was in Spain. Was yeah. In Spain. Bro, how could so- bro, how could someone throw a banana? They, they, they actually thought... They, think, of, think of it like this, yeah? Mm. You had to bring a banana from home or wherever you got it from into the stadium, fam, to yeah. dash it at someone. Yeah. Bro, you know how fucked that is, fam? Yeah. And what? No, no, no one. And that was all over social media. No, no, no one had nothing to say. Yeah, I feel like with those ones, you see, with racism, yeah, I feel like a lot of English fans or whatever, yeah, they like to. Oh, bro, that looks like that looks shit. Go on, tie the hair, baby girl. <laughs> Untied it because it looked terrible. Uh, they like to convince themselves that like racism and football is over their problem. Like, yeah. you know, when it happens, when it happens, when we go to these Eastern European countries uh, and then like, let's say someone from Hungary or I don't know, Belarus, I don't know if they're Eastern European countries, but <clears throat> so when, one of their fans starts like making racist chants and we're like, oh yeah, this is such a travesty, which it is, it's very bad, isn't it? I guess the English players, but then we ignore that, like it happens here. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not, it's not us versus them issue. It's, it's over here. We have that issue too. Do you know what I mean? Like, stop taking yeah. high high ground and thinking that you, we don't have an issue to deal with over here. Um, what, what are people going to say? That what, Britain's not racist? They're going to say, what, football's not racist? Is, is, that, is that what they're going to say? What, they're going to say English people ain't racist? We spoke about it so many times, man. Just like... Uh, bro, it doesn't matter, bro. As long as, as long as it's an issue, we're going to talk about it. Regardless, I don't care if it's, we talk about it 100 times. Until, until it's not an issue anymore, we're going to talk about it. Mm. You know what I'm saying, and you know, what's, you know what's crazy? I saw this thing today. Yeah, I think this is a bit not like um, I don't know if it's related in it, but it was like something about like you know if if a person of if if a, if a non person of color, so like maybe may, probably like a white person, yeah. If Bro, they non person of color, of course they're going to be white. White, white person, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's one that I hate. I hate all those terms. I can't lie. Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like, as a person of color, yeah, am I the same as like, say, a a, a East Asian person, or am I the same as like a, a black person? Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of like, there's too much variety between us. I feel like, but anyway, it's a it's a it's, a, it's too it's, it's the umbrella it's too term, wide of umbrella term. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that. That's that A level English coming into your thing, like Perfect got... fallacy. No, I'm joking. Oh my God, what's the nicest? Thing? Um. Was I saying? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what I was saying is like a lot of white creators, isn't it? If they make their their content online about activism and racism and stuff, yeah, they're like they're pushed up. Do you know what I mean? Like, yo, that's so sick. You're speaking for us, da da da, stuff like that. If say like a, a black person was to speak about their the racism against them, yeah, first of all, it's seen as like their duty. Do you know what I mean? Like, yo, you're black. You need to educate all of us on to on these issues because it's your it's your issue. You know what I mean? Like. Is, or, or they're seen as a threat Like why are they speaking up on this Or why do they keep making all their content about this Like why are they bringing up race all the time But the person who's who's profiting off it uh, Is being boosted For, for making their, their all their content About race when really it doesn't Negatively affect them It positively you know, yeah, boosts them yeah. I guess Yeah. Um, I feel like we've gone off on a tangent it? The whole Super League thing You know what the menace thing is We didn't even have a topic to talk about today fam but yeah, with the super league, with not super league thing, the whole fan thing again, it's it's cool and all, but it's 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 sad to see, man. Sometimes when you see like the energy for your people not being reciprocated, and and for me, I'm not, I'm not even like I can only see it from like an Islamophobic, Islamophobia point of view. I was not say Islamophobic. I'm not Islamophobic. Uh, an Islamophobia point of view, and also a, a working class point of view, like the way that this country has treated us working class people in it. I can see it through. Those two perspectives, you know, double homicide. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> you're a fool. But then, like, imagine, even, imagine, even, like, how how bad I feel. Yeah, imagine how like black people in this country must feel, uh, or any, or even anyone of like a darker skin tone must feel in it. Like Tamil people, um, Indo Caribbean people, like all these people in it. Um, in this country you must feel that like the the country doesn't have the same amount of energy when it comes to defending us as a muslim i'm speaking but then even black people must be thinking the country doesn't have enough energy when it comes to speaking about us and when when it's 
you know what I mean? Like the whole report the other day was like, oh, there's no in- institutional racism in the country. And the report is written by Boris Johnson's best friends, an Indian guy and a black, uh, Indian woman and a black guy who like are, are just out whenever Boris Johnson needs to talk about racism. Otherwise you never see them in, in years. Do you know what I mean? Bro, it's, it's all a mess, man. It's all a mess. Bro, if I speak, I might get sniped tonight, fam, but I think I said enough controversial um, stuff today. I'll, I'll save the rest for because we're gonna end up talking about it again at some point in the future. Something, I'm pretty yeah, sure something, pretty sure something's gonna happen. Like mm. I don't know, man. I feel like all, all I gotta say to end it off here, or to end this segment off, whatever, innit? I know there's gonna be people out there. There's gonna be people out there saying like, "Oh, why I bring up race? Why I bring up Islamophobia? Why I bring up classism?" Because it's it, it's not something that we can li- bring up. It's something that we live, bro. This is our this is our lives daily. And this is how it, this is how a lot of us are treated in the UK, and we we see the energy that we get back when it comes to our issues and stuff like that, and then we see the energy that we, we that other issues get. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's all I have to say in it. And on that note, no, <laughs> if you want to write some letters, you get me. The address will be uh, in the in the link below. You'll get a response. I like if you write letters to you. You know, if you've got time to write a letter, we've got a fan survey on our link tree. Um, please click. It's the first link on our link tree. Go click on it. Go vote for your favorite members of Titan Talk. Um, who you think is the the funniest? Who you think is the 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 kindest? Who you think's a slag? Um, all of that good stuff is in there, and we're going to use it for a future video. So please, you'll be you'll be doing us a big favor um please subscribe to the po- podcast you know i think i checked the 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 statistics for the last video i can't remember but it was more than half of you guys are watching our video but not subscribed so please subscribe the subscribe is free man subscribe and uh click that little bell if you don't subscribe i'll take it as uh, islamophobia um, because this is your this is your chance at getting Muslim representation in the media, and you're 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 blowing it. You're blowing it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Might get a letter sent to your yard and that. <laughs> and uh, finally, 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 Netflix hit me up. Mike, show me, man. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Alright, that's a mess. How she writing letters, bro? That's. Uh, 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 uh.